All right, I'm gonna show you guys how to set up a primary and a secondary tubing um, for an IV pump. Um, the primary tubing is the one that's gonna go directly to the patient. So let's start with that. Um, the tubing comes in a little package that you just open up and then you take off these paper pieces that just hold it together and in place. What you want to do is make sure, and this usually already is, but make sure this little white part is pushed in the whole way. And then you've got your medication. Make sure you've done all your scanning and rights and stuff. So I'm going to take off the one cap. And then you're going to take off, there's this clear cap right here. Now make sure you're cautious, that is a sharp spike. And then when you put the sharp spike into the fluid here, be cautious that you don't poke it off to the side. So you wanna poke it straight in. Okay, like that. I'm gonna flip this on over. Okay, now we're gonna to go to this part right here. So this is the chamber. You want to squeeze that chamber to get some fluid in this part right here. Now the trickiest part is to get this filled up. So I was always taught, hold it kind of like a lollipop. See the little circle up here? That's what you're gonna be doing. Um, you're gonna have that up. Once it fills, and you'll see what I mean, we're gonna flip it quickly. Okay. So, got your lollipop here. What you're gonna watch, watch that fluid. It's gonna fill right here. See the fluid's filling there? And once it's filled, you flip it and now the fluid has filled up this section. And then you're just gonna let that medication prime all the way to the end. And get ready, because you're gonna need to push this back in. We pulled it out to get it to start priming. You'll see some of these little tiny air bubbles in it. As long as you get most of them out, you're good. Okay, now I'm gonna push this little white thing back in and that stops that fluid from flowing. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and get it into my machine. Um, this is a plum, um, plum set machine, so that's what we're gonna use here. There's also other pumps that facilities have, so make sure that you know what, how your pump works. A little lever here that says pull, I'm just gonna flip it up like that. Now, it's kinda of hard to see, but there's a little technique. I tell people to hold this little part right here, it's this little plastic, and then they're gonna slide it right in. So you can see you have to be kind of close to that front and it slides right in. If it's kind of giving you fits, that means you just don't have it in the right spot. So I've slid it right in and then you're gonna go ahead and pull down on this lever again and that closes what's called the cassette. All right, so we've got the medication ready. We're going to push the on. You wanna make sure that everything's working before you connect this to your patient. It's gonna go through a little bit of a self-test. When it does this self-test, it's also checking to make sure you have all of the air out of the cassette. It's really important with these machines that you also have them plugged in. That's how they get all their updates. So you wanna pick your unit first. We have it linked on training because we are training. And then this right here, you guys can see these little arrows points right up to enter. So I'm gonna hit enter. Now you've got two chambers, this is A and this is B. A is your primary. So when I do that, I want to click A. So if you guys see these little buttons again, there's A. You wanna click drug list. When I click drug list, it's gonna give me a list of all of the medications that I may use for my patient. Um, it's really important that you pick the correct floor that you're on because some floors like the ICU have different medications available than some of the other floors. For this, I'm just gonna go down to IV Solutions. I just push this arrow right here. You can also page up and page down if you want to, depending on what medications you are giving, because there's quite a few. Then I'm gonna click Enter. Now we wanna do a standard program. Going into the loading dose and multi-step is a little more um, advanced, something that we don't need to do right now. 
So because I want it to be a standard program, I'm going to click Choose. Now you guys can see up here, it says IV Solutions, and that's telling us what medication we should have hanging. And then we need to look at our order. What does the order say? So let's say the order says to put it at 50 milliliters an hour. So I'm going to type in 50. So 50 milliliters an hour. Now you go down to volume to be infused. One tip for most of our medications, you don't want to put the entire volume. So for example, this bag has a thousand. You want to put maybe a little bit less, like 990, because some of the fluid has been used for the tubing and you don't want to make that tubing completely dry. So I like to say it's about 990. Um, but let's say the doctor says to just run this over three hours. I can also do my 50 milliliters an hour, push my arrow down, and duration, say he wants to run it over, well, let's just say four hours. I can click a four, and that tells me that automatically calculates my volume to be infused, volume to be infused to 200. Then you just have to click start. It's gonna give you another stop right here so that way you can look and see if it's how you want it. We want rate of uh, 50 mLs an hour. We're gonna put it in 200 milliliters of this fluid. And then if I like it, I'm gonna say yes and it's gonna start pumping. You wanna then connect it to your patient. Let's say our patient also has an antibiotic to hang. So as that's infusing, we've got our antibiotic. This is the tubing for the antibiotic. Um, make sure you check compatibility of your IV solution with your antibiotics, um, making sure that they can run together. The same way that you spiked this, you're gonna spike this, but make sure we got a little roller clamp right here you have to roll the roller clamp the whole way. If you don't do that, you're gonna end up wearing your entire antibiotic. So we're gonna take off the cap just like you did with the primary. Take off the spike. Remember, be careful with this spike, that way you don't poke yourself. Okay. Now, now's a really good time to double check that that clamp is clamped. Okay. I'm gonna hang this up on a separate um, separate hook and I'm gonna squeeze just like before. Now, I'm gonna show you guys how to go ahead and prime this and put it in a pump, but one thing you can use, the secondary tubing has this little blue um, device, this little hook. If for some reason you have to use gravity, you can hang this hook here and lower this medication. Um, you definitely want the antibiotic to be higher. That way the antibiotic infuses instead of the main medication. So I'm gonna go ahead and just hang this back up here because the pump does that work for me. Now, got my antibiotic here. I'm gonna go ahead and unhook my roller clamp. You don't wanna unhook it all the way or else it's gonna come flying out, but I'm just gonna unhook it a little bit. I'm gonna let that medicine come through and then I need to reclamp it before I unhook it. So I've got my medicine through the entire tubing. You're gonna take off this cap. Now, if for some reason you have not been, you were not the one that connected all this together, you wanna to make sure you clean this blue port really well with alcohol. I'm gonna put this, you're gonna put this little part in here in the clear part right there. And then you're gonna give it a little twist. So twist it in. Then you're going to unclamp it completely because now you're ready to let that medication infuse. Now, if you remember, this is line A. Line B is your antibiotic. So what I'm gonna do is click line B right here. It's gonna bring this up. Okay, piggyback. Piggyback means that the antibiotic is going to infuse, but the main line is gonna stop. So it's gonna infuse the antibiotic but this 50 milliliters an hour fluid's not going in. I can click this change mode right here, and you can see it changed to concurrent. Concurrent means that they're both gonna go together. So I can infuse my regular 50 milliliters an hour fluid that I just programmed, or whatever the doctor's order was, along with that antibiotic. So we're gonna go ahead, and actually we're gonna run it concurrently, so I'm gonna show you what it does. Let's say we're gonna change the rate. So, Antibiotics vary, you definitely want to look at your order, but we're going to do um, Zosin. Zosin is 100 milliliters of medication, so let's go down here. We're going to do 100 milliliters of medicine. And this specific order tells me to go over four hours. 
and you can see it has calculated 25 milliliters an hour. Then I'm gonna click start and you're going to infuse. One thing I did forget to do is add our drug list. I'm gonna click page up and right Yeah. Zosin's not one there. You would just pick whatever your medication is. So let's just go to this antibiotic. Okay, we'll just do that. Okay, our program's still here. So concurrently, we're gonna do 25 milliliters an hour, which was the 100 milliliters of the medicine the doctor ordered over four hours. So I'm gonna click start. And I like this order. It agrees with everything I said. I want to hit start. Now you can see both of these have green lights flashing, so that tells me both are going at once. If I want to stop them, I would hit stop. And it's going to tell me, what do you want to stop? I'm going to say I want to stop all of them. Now I'm thinking about, well, I probably need to run this individually. I don't want to clear all of my settings, but I do want to change my mode. So let's change the mode to piggyback. I'm gonna click start again. I like it. Okay, so now you see this one's flashing. If I click start, you can see this right here says delayed and this says pumping. So when my four hours are up here, this medication will automatically start infusing again. 